Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you 22 April. It's a Wednesday. Hump day, as they like to call it. Uh, just got the crude chart up here. Uh, the insanity continues. This is June crude. Um, trading around 11 bucks. Bang. Uh, not sure where this is going. It seems uh, seems unreal. I don't don't really have too much in it, or I don't have anything in it. Um, but just watching it as a risk barometer, um, as sort of a indication as to the insanity of the world. Uh, but crude still under under the pump. Currency is pretty quiet, right? We talked about the gamma yesterday in euro dollar. So there's just loads of expiries. 107, 10740, 10750, 108 this week. Uh, tons of people have euro dollar options on. You can understand why, right? I mean, for the bears, they think euro's going to zero because Italy's going to blow up and the, the EU is going to break up. And the bulls think euro's going to go to 160 because of quantitative easing. Um, and uh, the, the general value of the dollar, um, sort of from a textbook global economic, global macro basis, has to go lower. By the way, we saw today that M2, the, uh, the money supply numbers, highest since uh, 1946. Uh, you all know which side of this uh, equation I'm on. Euro dollar is not my horse, uh, but. Um, We'll see. Point is, there's nothing going on in euro dollar. If you want to range trade it, you just fade extremes, both sides, um, which is incredibly hard to do. It's a very tough way to trade. The risk reward is often upside down, uh, so be careful. Cable got smashed yesterday. Basically, it was sterling yen. That yen bus looked real good there for a while, um, but then squeezed gave back some of the profits um, but no big deal you know tactical book did all right yesterday so not the end of the world but uh, sterling collapsed based on euro sterling which broke out through um, this 8740 level and sterling yen which broke down through um, 132.50 I don't think sterling yen is going to uh, make any mighty moves higher. I do think this probably has legs. Uh, and if you want to stay long yen, sterling yen is probably your horse. Euro yen, of course, is mucked up with all the options. Dollar yen is also mucked up with this massive tug of war. Um, GPIF types buying risk-off types selling, and also two yards of 107, the figures, rolling off tomorrow. So not a great time to break trade, 106.90. Really hope we don't get down there today. Uh, but of course, when you hear a trader say that, you got to be on red alert, right? That means it's probably going to happen. Anytime you see the word hope embedded in any sentence, that a trader says it's a signal that whatever he or she just said is probably going to happen. Um, we're square dollar yen right now. We're being a bit cautious with this. We can see this going either side. If you're a bull, 108.10 is your freedom point. Eat your freedom fries while you're buying some freedom. Um, and downside 106.90. So, not sure what to do with dollar yen or dead center. Best to be patient. Equities got banged. Not surprising, right? This oil. We're about 120 handles from sort of when oil blew up yesterday. We were 28.50, now we're 27.30. Printed a few lows down here. Moderately interesting, 
27.17 and 27.17. So same low as yesterday, and then the low from the 13th of April was 11. Our bias is still lower. Um, selling low ones is tough. We're going to try and sell high ones today. Um, 58 to 78, we're going to try and sell. Sell ES um, on the tactical book. The trend book is is short, but short probably not enough. Doesn't doesn't have the right position size on. Uh, so that was a bit of a botch. But say la vie. Let's check out dollar Norway. This shit must be higher. Yeah, we're sellers of dollar Norway, we're looking for turn bars. Obviously, with oil doing what it's doing, um, Norway's. Euro Norway is getting hurt, um, but this gives us a great opportunity uh, on the tactical book to put in some tactical trades here on stretch highs. So, you know, if you think about if you're a break trader and you want to be long dollar Norway, or if you're a CTA, where are you going to buy? You're probably going to wait for this um, 1080 pivot. But we're on the other side of this trade. We would normally fade where these guys are buying, but it's not super clear. Maybe they even bought yesterday. This is the hourly chart. Let's go to the dailies. Um, we're going to fade this today into 1080. So um, let's call it 1077 to 1097. It's 2% range there. Obviously, your position sizing in dollar Norway needs to be a little bit lower. This stuff is volatile, so be careful. But we like selling dollar Norway, even though oil is getting crushed. Dollar Swiss, our other horse, not doing much. This thing's stuck because of the euro dollar. Um, we want to sell stretch highs here. We didn't sell 25s yesterday. We were actually offering above 50. Um, the trend book is core short. That hasn't changed. I'm a little bit worried because I'm so comfortable with that position and CFTC data says everyone else has that same position on. But uh, I really believe in it and we're just going to roll with it. I obviously live in Switzerland. I am American. Um, so I'm always kind of trying to be short dollar Swiss to hedge some investments and assets that I have anyway. So I got that sort of in the back of my mind as well. So there's a lot of things going on here. Check yourself where you stand in this trade. We think selling high ones, if you're not going to trade dollar Norway, you can still sell high ones in dollar Swiss. I think that 97.50 area today um, is the place. But there's also a very good chance dollar Swiss just does nothing like yesterday. Just starts and stops and ends in the same place. Gold, sort of the the third stooge, if you will like, the three stooges, dollar Swiss, dollar Norway, and gold. Um, man, if you had balls yesterday to pick some of this shit up, you would be looking pretty shiny right now. But uh, we don't own it. We like it higher. You can see the volatility is quite insane. 50, 60, 50 dollars yesterday. It's pretty hectic gold. You can easily see this thing now break through 1665 and, and go down to 1600. I mean, it's just, um, it's a beast. Bearish engulfed yesterday. But we do like trying to get long gold somewhere. And so if you're a youngster and you're you have a higher risk appetite than this old man here. I don't know. Try and try and buy some gold. Maybe call spreads. I don't know. Um, I would say sell some puts, but you don't want to be short options in this kind of environment, even um, even in smalls. Most of you don't have the chops to manage that kind of volatility, so so don't bother with that. But keep an eye on gold bearish engulfed yesterday so maybe the safest place to buy it back up through um, 1720 
don't know. Um, as you can see, there's not a lot on the plate here uh, going into the European Open. A lot of things are dead center in the middle. Um, we like, as far as the N bus is concerned, we like sterling yen still lower. Euro yen we do not like lower, even though it should be. You know, Euro yen is, is giving us a real warning here. It should be way, way lower. BTP's got smashed. Uh, there's no questions about Italy. Blah, blah, blah. You know, the story re rears its ugly head all the time. Um, but look at that bar. That bar is telling me, uh-uh. Um, that bar is telling me these lows are safe. They're safe hands down there. I don't know who the hell is down there. Uh, but you don't want to get short euro yen until we get through those lows now. If we get through 16.10, sure, smash it. Um, but yesterday's price action was a concern, so price did not confirm story. So just square up, right? It's no, it's no drama. Um, so we squared up, and if we were really like mentally flexible, we would look to be getting long euro yen. Um, up at 117.17 but we're not going to bother with that probably too old uh, to dive into all of that we're going to focus on our dollar Norway today we're going to focus on maybe trading a little bit of dollar Swiss but overall it looks like it's going to be a, a, a quiet day we will also be selling high ones in stocks watching the news feeds as always intraday opportunities will present themselves that's the beauty of this kind of all um, but very, very patient at the start today. Good luck out there, people. Ciao.